If your mother ever warned you to slow down while eating because the food could go down the wrong pipe, boy, do we have a story for you. Natalie's here actually with more of that. That's right. Well, Mom also told us to eat our peas, right? Well, that yeah. was the problem here because Ron Sabine feared the worst when months of coughing and troubled breathing left his doctors dumbfounded. But a shocking x-ray finally revealed what was causing his symptoms. Oh. Ron Svedeen had a problem sprouting in his lungs. For months, the 75-year-old had been coughing. His health was taking a turn for the worse, but doctors couldn't find what was wrong. Yeah. That's, uh, that's good. I was not doing too well. A lot of coughing. Uh, I was very listless. Already battling emphysema, Svedeen prepared himself to face a tumor and lung cancer until he found out something very different was growing. I was told that I had a pea seed in my lung that had split and had sprouted. Sedin's magic bean had gone down the wrong way. Instead of swallowing it, the pea traveled down into his windpipe, lodged inside his lung, and had begun to take root. The seed grew to one and a half inches, which had a sprout-like appearance, eventually causing Svedeen's lung to collapse. Whether this would have gone full term and I'd be working for the Jolly Green Giant, I don't know. Although Svedeen's case is a rare one, doctors say the environment inside our lungs is very much like a greenhouse. The conditions are right for things to grow. It's like having uh, your garden during the summer. If the right seed is there and, and it has the right kind of nutrients, it possibly could grow. But should you be worried the next time you eat your vegetables? Doctors say just remember your mother's advice and chew your food. We should always be careful in terms of what we eat uh, and how fast we eat it. Now out of the hospital and back at home, Svedeen and his wife Nancy feel extremely lucky. God has such a sense of humor. I mean, it could have been just nothing, but it had to be a pea and it had to be sprouting. And although the plant growing inside his lung nearly killed him, Svedeen hasn't stopped eating his vegetables. One of the first meals I had in the hospital after the surgery had peas for the vegetable. <laughs> I laughed myself and <laughs> ate them. <laughs> well, in fact, Zine's uh, friends and his family's his neighbor, they've been bringing over all kinds of pea gifts. Of course. You know, yeah. Pea soups, canned peas. He says the whole experience has given him a Kind of like a, a, a veggie life. version of the hair of the dog that bit you. Exactly. Now at least I understand my pea brain. It's yeah. all oh, making sense. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness I've got my excuse. Oh, Just don't inhale that. He's got a sense of humor <laughs> exactly. about it. Oh. Anyway, Natalie, thank He's you doing so great, much. Though. And the yeah. breathing apparatus had nothing to do well, with what happened to him. he had emphysema as well. He had a lot of lung issues. Exactly. Previously. Well, we yeah. wish you well. Yeah.